Hey guys, this is Ashwini and welcome back. We are working on our project that is microservice real-time project. Okay, in previous video, we have completed a couple of things like uh, almost we have configured all the things in uh, our first microservice and we have done like all with the repos and controller and service, right? And we have made this one method, but we haven't annotated with anything, right? Just done rest controller. So it will not work right now because we haven't uh, annotated with get or post or whatever the operation we need to perform okay so before starting this video uh, yeah do not forget to comment share and subscribe your comment is very important for me okay yeah so now what we need to do if i want to be communicate this database i need to be configure some properties right yeah but as you can see in first video and this video i have changed a little bit the name of uh, my column why i will let you know in two minutes okay yeah just come here and first i will do my couple of thing here that is url with my project name that is db name and uh, that is root and my password and yeah for showing as uh, sql query whatever the hibernate will be generated Okay, so let me close this property file. The work is done for the property file. I don't have anything to do in my property file now. Now the focus is to the controller, right? What I need to do. So I want to be make my this method to accept the query params. So I need to be accept the query param. Then what I need to do? Uh, what happening with my mouse? Okay, yeah, it's working. So I will say request param and that is uh, integer. Okay. And here I want to say get mapping only nothing and as in good programming practice this is my separate API right so I need to make this as in separate endpoint for the I don't want to be say okay local host and just running like an element term right I need to be separated so what I need to do here I will say request mapping okay and add then request mapping uh, just person these are the separate endpoints whatever the operations get post or whatever the operation you want in this particular class or controller that will be uh, appended with by person right after the person whatever the endpoint will give at the your all the operations it will be considered after the person right yeah clear and now i have told you like well, i have changed this name of the uh, columns in a my db so my application when interacting to my mysql right db the name should be same in the db and the name should be same in my application so what i need to do i have changed the name because i want to to introduce with this uh, column annotation okay yeah so that's why here i i'm writing a name as an id uh, my variable name and in my database name uh, for this column is person id right so I need to use this column wherever the my name is different as in my application and in my uh, MySQL in the my DB right got it and one more thing I have added here that is cascade as we are in my uh, like this concept I have written in my graduation and uh, till now it is coming uh, uh, like uh, daily by daily in my in front of me that's why I remember from that time why like uh, if you have that concept of your DB like we are following the asset properties so there uh, we came up with uh, dirty read and uh, all of those things right so the cascade thing is you know like if you have a parent child relationship with any table so if you are deleting your data from the parent table then data should be automatically deleted from your child table so this cascade relation will be followed right yeah and uh, if you are deleting any data from the child table and it should be thrown an rn in mysql i will show you that uh, okay in upcoming minute do not worry about it but it, this is a simple concept okay so yeah now now our full focus on our controller so what i need to do i have uh, this annotated and, and yeah now let me open a new window for it and i need to be run my application and before it i need to be update maven update okay and what are the error is showing be gone after the update and let me open my chrome so i will say my i haven't run my application now so then why i'm running this right <laughs> yeah so come to chrome meanwhile it is running i need to say http 
colon localhost 8080 and yeah let me do one thing for testing purpose i need to be introduced one more method right public uh, string and that is test uh, that my control class is working fine or not uh, for that purpose only i am just uh, writing this method so that is hello so let me run this application again so restart my application okay and it will take time and it will restart and yeah we come out of this and whatever the api we have person because uh, we have separated with endpoint and uh, next is test let's run this and it is throwing an error why it's throwing error we have done something wrong definitely that is person yeah we haven't put the get mapping and get mapping with test uh, not this one test okay now rerun this again yeah now let me run this again and whatever the output will be we'll see okay my application is not running till now that's why it's throwing an error let me do this again yeah it's saying hello so it means my controller is running right now everything is fine now what i need to do i need to pass something right but we haven't uh, anything passed in get mapping here like this so i need to be pass no need to be pass any slash now just request mapping all the whatever the parameter needed in the query param so just uh, like this and we will say get me the one as you can see i'm having the same thing here let me increase this yeah id one first name john last name lee city taxes order order array of objects okay in adjacent now this is done okay till this point if you haven't understand anything just comment it down if you have understand anything then also just comment it down because uh, your comment is very important for me because it help a google algorithm or youtube algorithm to understand that you are watching this video okay yeah now what my next target is i want public list of my person mm, why it's not taking so all person data okay for this all person data what i need uh, import i need to make one method in my uh, service so first go in a service and uh, i want to be copy this because i don't want to write this again and again okay and instead of uh, this i need to say list and uh, list will be person list okay cool and in uh, in place of this i will say repo dot find all and it will return the list of persons these all are method which i have here uh, file person all data i will say all data okay so whatever the method i have here these are the all the predefined methods in the jpi okay you no need to be do anything and you have somewhere like in critical requirement right if you want to be number of uh, like you have a thousand data and you want a limited data right so i can do this thing with the stream but you want you don't want to take a data in your application you just want to show the all the data in your mysql only so then in that case we will see our native queries okay so if you want to me to write a native query because uh, whatever the work we are following here all the work will be done by uh, either jpa uh, like uh, jpql language and either uh, the predefined methods because it support uh, a jpql language you can write uh, like whatever the query in the form of method and it will be run so if you want to be write on native things then let me know i will definitely do it for you now what i need to do here that is uh, i need to annotate it that is get and uh, yeah and in terms of get i need to be differentiated so i will say list okay and okay i have this person service sorry okay and uh, yeah so get all data or what is the person all data and it is not taking any argument so i no need to worry about it and here i have given an argument so just remove this okay not that one okay this one yeah now let me rerun my application and try with the list of data so my application is restarted 
and we will go to the controller and pass and hit the endpoints okay sorry we will go to the browser let me wait for it now person and that is uh, what is the we have given a point there mm, list i think so right yeah you can see all the list whatever the i have in my db all the lists are coming with the id 1 with the uh, id 2 right i have only inserted a two uh, values in my database as you remember here right as you can see here now if i want to be update my db right if i want to be update my database for particular list so what i need to do uh, let's suppose uh, in that case i need to give in my data only so let's see what how can i do that uh, that is uh, okay yeah first i will write that method in a public and that is uh, save data or customer data in that case what you need to return that is person let me see whatever that method return according to that we will return update record not this is a update record okay yeah in that case what you need to do you need one method who will con uh, like create or generate a data for you right so let me uh, generate a dummy data for me right public uh, person and get person okay or create person and we will create a person object okay uh, take it bro yeah now what I need to do I need to set all the values like ID for one okay for first ID I need to be update something okay and uh, that is set first name and that first name should be uh, a b h a y okay okay and i will return this only these much value i need to be set what you are happening here return and return p and instead of taking the first p i need to take a person okay i don't want to be follow this uh, okay so we will follow a good practice yeah and i need that person object here in my service right okay what i need to do now i will ask for a id for which id you want to update your record and okay and it will say for that id and i will pass that id here okay and i will say integer id and this id i will set here Or I will ask the user only like uh, what is the name you want to pass or something okay so that will I can also ask from the username uh, in query parameter like yeah we can do that okay yeah so do not follow this one I will do the something in this method only let copy and paste here let me do first thing in my controller that is uh, public person and that is uh, update record okay came here here I need two query parameters that is for ID I need to update a name okay so let's see uh, integer and that is request param and in request param that is integer and I will say person ID and uh, second one also request param and uh, name string name i need these two from the user okay so here what i will do i will say return and that service object and i will call one method that method is this one okay here i need all the data so this data will come from the user right and i will pass the data to my uh, service class method 
so do not ever reward it okay we will do the same thing so in that case i will say post mapping okay why it's throwing an error uh, yeah request mapping not here request mapping that is request param bro okay now come here and in teaser as well as uh, name that is uh, string name okay now we are uh, following this process then i need to be do one thing that is uh, update record and i need to be pass here two values and i have given here one value so it's not a uh, like create person okay not update 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 yeah that is i need to be here and here so without confusion let's remove this because i do not have to do anything with this method okay so now what do you need to do uh, let me do this again service dot update that is person id and what are the next parameter we take in name cool yeah now go inside it we are creating an object of person right and return this person object okay now you have person object so just uh, for set id that is id and uh, person and say set name first name is a name now let me do one thing uh, i have taken this for a uh, error that time and i will say save and uh, what do you want to save that is person object cool now let me run this application again uh, not read debug i am not interested in debugging right now okay yeah because I, we don't have any error bro so just run it again and i am doing all the things in front of you because whenever the any error will came you will face that and you know the approach what we are following okay so i will post this video as it is not do anything here so but for making a post request as you can see in a controller we need my what post mapping right and for a name of post mapping i need this url and with person correct and for the params we need a two values that first one is person id and that is person id and what is the id you want one and second one is a name okay so take the name and another one is name and name what do you want to pass a b h a y let me run this as you can see now check my db uh, person right okay now also it's showing me a john and mark why it's showing me a john and mark let me show this uh, post mapping because we are following a get mapping i need a post mapping that's why it showed me a data of that okay so do not worry about it i will say post and yeah as you can say one ab hai and all the values are will be null because we are not passing anything and, and we haven't applied a not null property here right we are applying not null property on the key so now let me run it again that is person and that is ab hai got it yeah as same uh, if you do the same thing here let me show you repo and delete so you can perform a delete operation here so these all are the CRUD operations in uh, my if you want me to perform a delete also i will do that okay uh, no issues and these are the all the operations now i will add some more operations and we will move to our next microservice and we will call all these operation from our first or sorry from second microservice uh, through rest template and we will see whatever the configurations and all and if that is completed then we will move to our uh, most probably swagger or j unit and after that we will uh, do the security thing okay so till then i will see you in the next video